Hey everybody, it's Eileen from Basic Blog Tips. Today I want to take a look at Stumble Upon. It all started when my friend Kissy asked me to record a screencast and then I found out that they were actually having a contest to explain Stumble Upon to a non-stumbler. So I figured, why not give it a try? Now first let me explain to you the key to using Stumble Upon is the toolbar. Once you have the toolbar installed, you just come up and you click Stumble. Stumble Upon uses its algorithm to present you with sites that they think would be of interest to you. If not, you can just stumble again. And eventually, you're going to stumble on something that you're really interested in. This happens to be a blog that I've been on before, and I know I want to like the post. Now, I want to find a little bit more about the person who submitted the post. It happens to be someone I know. So I can click that on, and I can see all the people who've liked the post. And if there's any reviews, I can read the reviews. If I want to share it on Facebook, I just go up to the Facebook icon and share it on Facebook with my friends. We're not going to share it right now. Let's stumble some more. I see another post that I'm interested in. Read through the post. If I like it, go ahead and give it a like. This time I'm going to share it on Twitter. You'll see that it fills in and uses the SUPR URL shortener. Then I check out this user. Turns out I'm already following him but I can accept his shares to my toolbar. And I can see some of the other things he's stumbled upon recently. Now I'm going to stumble again. I see other sites that I'm interested in. In fact, Famous Bloggers is one of my favorite websites and I want to know a little bit more about the people that are reviewing and stumbling the site. When I hover over the users, if I see a little icon at the bottom with the little man, that means I'm following that person. Also, the number four that we saw earlier, that means there were four reviews, and here are the reviews. And this also gives me the chance to add a review if I want to. Was this review helpful? I can say yes. Now, there's another sharing option that's become available. Open up the sharing toolbox and you can share to other stumblers by email, Facebook, and Twitter once again. So now let's shut down the toolbar and explore some other areas of our StumbleUpon profile. Click on your name and it brings up all the things that you've given a thumbs up to recently. Click on your profile and you'll see what other users see when they go to your StumbleUpon profile. You've got your little bio there, the things that you've thumbed up recently. Now, the reviews that you've done Here's a list of them. The discoveries. Things that you've added to stumble upon. The users that you're following. I 
and you see I have pages of them. You can scroll through, see who you're following, like seeing those friendly faces. Find out who's following you. Now, when you don't see the little man at the bottom right-hand corner, you know that you need to follow that person. So this is someone that I know from Facebook named Charity. So I want to follow Charity. I'll just click her on, click follow, and then check off that accept shares to my toolbar from Charity. Let's go back and take a look at my favorites. These are things that I've given the thumbs up to. And you can see the list there. Now we want to make sure that our profiles are attractive to others. So let's just go into our settings. Click on Customize Profile. And this is where you can change your background color. If you don't like the black background, you can change it to a lighter one. Fill in your favorite books, movies, and save your preferences. Now that you've saved your preferences, you can go back by clicking on your name and you'll see that all of your changes have been saved. You don't have to open up the toolbar if you don't want to. You can just click on one of your friend's profiles and see some of the sites that they've stumbled. Well, there you have your guided tour of the StumbleUpon toolbar for Google Chrome. Thanks so much for joining me. It's Eileen from Basic Blog Tips. Peace.